Welcome back to the channel. In this week's video, we're going to be discussing memory and whether technology helps or hinders. When I was a young boy, I was lucky enough to go on holiday to Italy. I must have been nine or ten. One evening we went to a restaurant. I remember the meal to this day, but being very young, I never knew what the ingredients were. Fast forward 20 years and I was recently making a recipe from a gifted cookbook. As I prepared the meal, there were hints of what was to come, but it wasn't until I sat down and started eating that I was immediately transported to that young boy in a restaurant in the heart of Rimini, Italy. Over 20 years ago, a memory had been pulled and a connection made. The fact that the memory involved taste, place and sight made the recollection of the memory so much more powerful. As Lisa Geneva explains in her video for Big Think, it is easier to recall past events if the environment is as similar to the environment when we form the memory. So this combination of being with family, eating a meal in the evening, was enough to transport me there again. But has our ability to remember changed with the development of technology? Have we stopped needing to think because we know we can pull out our phone and get an answer instantly. Well, in this week's video, we're gonna explore two things around technology, social media, and memory. But first, let's talk about memory and how it works. First, we need to collect a memory, and we do this by being present and attentive. Then once collected, that memory will generally move from short-term through to long-term memory. Then if we recall a memory, we're doing two things we're pushing a stimulus into our brain, a little like a hook, and this stimulus is hooking the memory out. So we could read a question, which is the hook, and then pull out the answer from our memory. But there are challenges to us continuing to use our memory muscles. The first of these challenges comes in the form of transactive memory. As we grow up in a family, we as a group often hold key information for the rest of the family, which allows others to hold other facts. This is transactive memory. There is a line of thought that social media and the access to instant knowledge has now gone so far that we are now using these tools to house our memories. A recent study asked participants to experience an event. One group explored the event without technology, while the other group used phones to take photos and post on social media. The findings were startling, as the ones that used their phones couldn't recall the experience as well. The thinking being, this is because they have recorded the event through video and taking pictures, their brain had almost told them that they didn't need to remember because they had recorded it. In a different study from National Institutes of Health, suggest people use GPS to get around, perform worse in terms of spatial performance, meaning that a reliance on the GPS technology reduces their ability to find their way around. The second, and this is why we made the video today, is about attention. Access to knowledge has been with us for a long time. As soon as the Caxton Press was invented and books made, news and information no longer needed to be held in the brain alone. And with the internet, this has further reduced our need to recall the mundane. So there are a lot of positives with the development of this technology. It can free up thinking time for what truly matters. But are we? Are we using technology to further our learning or are we filling it with more stuff? While there may not be real actual difference in our makeup as humans to recall things, there is a big change in our consumption of media and content. The creation of social media and the processes that are being employed to keep eyeballs glued to the screen are challenging the ability for people to pay attention. And why is attention important? Yep, that's right. It's the key to forming memory. So while there are obviously huge benefits for technology, here are a few tips that might help you strike a balance. Number one, use technology wisely. Leverage digital tools for what they're best at organization, reminders, and learning aids. Number two, practice active recall. Engage in activities that challenge your memory, like puzzles, reading, or learning a new skill. Limit multitasking. Focus on one task at a time to improve concentration and memory retention. Number four, take breaks from screens. Give your brain a rest and engage in offline activities to strengthen different types of memory. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video this week. What did you think? Are we failing to actively use our brain? Do let us know in the comments below and do consider subscribing. We post videos nearly every week about design, design thinking, strategy, brand and digital. Until next time, stay curious and see you in the next one.